and he's had a nice spring so far, and I think he played pretty well today. Just want to ask about the linemen on both sides, how they look. Uh, you know, it's always hard for me. Um, I, I get a much better feel for the interior play, the line play on both sides of the ball when I watch the film. Uh, so it's, it's, it would be kind of unfair uh, because I'm kind of always watching things big picture wise. Uh, so unless there's a glaring error, uh, we probably had um, too much pressure on the quarterback at times. Um, we got to do a better lock job in bass pass protection. Uh, we were able to run the ball you know, fairly consistently, not for big plays, but um, pretty consistently. And uh, I, I think removing some guys around in the offensive line probably helps us long term and maybe doesn't necessarily help us play best today. Dallas from left tackle to right tackle, just to get them experience playing both sides. Uh, Jedrick is playing right tackle and right guard. Um, so, you know, he hasn't played guard for a while. So we're moving guys around. We play Lester at right guard and left guard. So um, it, it's, you know, we, we just, we have to find out what the best combinations are. And if we lose players, what gives us the best options to get the best players on the field next year. So. Uh, that becomes a little bit of a work in progress when you move guys around. It's not, you can't just assume just because a guy can play tackle that when he goes and plays guard, it's not going to take some reps because things happen a little quicker inside and you got to be able to re react a little better, a little quicker. Back on your season. Uh, just to follow up on the other side of the ball, Coach, are you moving defensive linemen around too? I'm sure. Break one and both are sort of in the same slots, but you can experiment there as well. Well, um, you yeah, know, we have to some degree. You know, we, we played, you know, Q Williams a little bit of nose and five technique. Um, and the young players were playing the nose and five technique both to try to see, you know, where they fit best. But, you know, we're, we're, we're looking for who can play on that side and who can help us and where we can find some depth. Uh, because that that is a bit of an issue for us right now. Your thoughts? Well, first of all, I don't have a time frame, so how could it affect it? I mean, you have a time frame, I don't. Right, so, from your perspective, maybe I should ask you the question. From my perspective, if there's no time frame, how does it affect it? I, I, I can't answer that. Um, I, I don't think that any time a player gets hurt at any position, right, that he should be penalized for that. All right, so, you know, does it give other players more of an opportunity to show what they can do? Absolutely. Um, but he was able to, uh, he probably got. 15, 20 snaps today, something like that. Um, and early in the scrimmage, uh, and, and did, did well, you know. So, um, we, we, you know, Jalen, you know, I thought, you know, started out a little bit slow, but he, he really, you know, made some really good plays as the scrimmage went on, so we were encouraged by that as well. So, look, I, this is not something that we're going to keep score on. All right, so when you ask me this question, I can't really give you an answer that is going to satisfy your needs. Two more points. Uh, earlier this spring, you experimented with guys like Devontae Smith on both sides of the ball. Is that something that you were able to do in the scrimmage, or is he just sticking tall? Yeah, Smith really played some on defense today. You know, the goal was, can we get him a dozen plays at corner? Uh, but most of the time, he played receiver. Um, we probably could have done that a little more if, you know, Jerry Judy wouldn't have got hurt. Um, just makes us a little thin. So, you know, but, but all that we're trying to do is to get Smitty enough turns that if we had an emergency situation next year, we got some Boston guys or whatever, he could, he, in a week's time, he could, he could go help us. That's wise. Good show back to the runner. 
with so many new coaches on staff, uh, how much are you evaluating how they function in a, in a game-like scenario? And, and is there a process of acclimation there? It, you know, I, I think everybody can learn. I think that, you know, being able to apply things situationally uh, is really, really important. And uh, I'm sure there's some learning experiences out there today from a situational standpoint where, you know, I don't care how many how much you go over things philosophically, there's always something that comes up that's a different situation at the end of the game that, you know, you, you, you didn't actually get covered. So um, there were some opportunities out there for us to, to learn, uh, and I think that's basically what I look for in the coaches, and I think that's, they all, I want to define the expectation for what they are supposed to do, and I think they want to very much know what's expected of them so that they can be accountable to it. So uh, that's what we try to do with the coaches. And I think sometimes when you have a scrimmage, it, it does give you an opportunity to um, learn from some situations that you haven't covered in the past. Thanks, Coach. All right, thank you.